Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Again, it's still Saturday, but this video will be going up, I believe, 7 o'clock Monday night. So, howdy. <laughs> uh, we've been, been busy today. Very, very busy. I'm going to walk you around a little bit. Uh, I was showing you in an earlier video what we were working on in the road and stuff like that. And, uh... So he has the fun job. <laughs> it's got to be done. Somebody's got to do it. That's right. That's right. So, um... The pieces were too big to carry out as big rounds, so I came down here and I split these with, I picked up a maul axe when I was down here. Um, yes, I have one at home, but uh, I picked up another one. Those, why not? Two is one and one is none. So uh, I split these up and he's carrying the pieces up, you know, as he can. And so that's, uh, that's what he's doing, and I'm going to take you over here to the spring, and uh, I'm going to show you what we have going on here. So, hold on one second. All right, give me a moment here, folks. My boat came untied, and I figured I might as well tie that back up instead of walking on my laces. All right, so we're going to go down here. All right. So the spring was coming up out of here, and I was digging this out, and it was flowing pretty good earlier. Uh, it seems to have slowed down now, which is okay. Um, I am still going to dig this out some more, and we're going to just kind of see... Uh, what we have when I do that, but uh, there is a lot of clay um, underneath. You can see the lower level there is clay. Um, the spring is above the clay because water will not go through clay. But uh, it is, uh, you know, we were, the water was flowing out of there pretty good earlier. And it was just flowing down through here, which was all right. And, uh, but uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was a job, but uh you can see the kind of the pile of mucky stuff here, but uh, so this is where the spring is. This is where the water source is, and uh, what we're going to end up doing is uh, I, what I would like to do is block this off, uh, concrete it in there, and then put a pipe. That pipe that I had showed you earlier today, yes, well today here, um, the pipe that I showed you guys in an earlier video. How's that? That makes it more sense. Uh, that will go in here to run the water out. Um, now, 10 feet is not going to get it done. I'll have to buy more, but I just wanted to get it started. And we'll figure out uh, where everything is going to go uh, from there. Now, this cherry tree here, excuse me, I'm going to have to come down here. We're going to stand these up. We're going to split all these up and carry them up that way. Uh, will be the easiest way to do that. Uh, that's probably not going to happen today, <laughs> so uh, we'll see what happens when uh, what we can do. But uh, I did dig out quite a bit of this today. That water is actually fairly deep. You can't really tell, but it's fairly deep right there. And uh, so we'll see what happens. But uh, that's what we're working on, and that's what's going on here. And uh, but uh, so that's going to be uh, a good source of water. And. Um, But knowing it was coming out of there crystal clear with no smell, uh, and that makes a huge difference as far as that goes as well. So uh, pretty pleased with that. Uh, Dennis has been working his tail off today, so uh, he has, you know, been on that bobcat, and so I'm not even sure how many hours he's got in on there today, but he's uh, he's been working on that. And last time I talked to him, he said he thought it was about four hours that he's put in on a bobcat today. But he's worked on a lot of different stuff uh, today. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you down to the other part. And I'm going to show you down there what we have going on. 
So while we're walking down here, I'm going to get this part out of the way real quick and just share with you uh, my sale on uh, my website, PrepperNurse1.com, is going on right now. That will be going on until the end of the month. You can save yourself 20% on the Legacy Freeze-Dried Food. And as of October 1st, uh, the prices of the food are going up. So I am doing the price increase sale. So you're getting it still at the price that it is now, but also saving yourself 20% by doing so. And uh, that way, uh, you know, if you're looking to add to your long-term freeze-dried food storage, uh, definitely take advantage of that. It is a 25-year shelf life. It is GMO-free. It is vegetarian. But beef and chicken options are available to buy separately. It is the largest portion size of any of the other freeze-dried food companies. And again, I couldn't say that unless it was true. And uh, there are gluten-free options for people that need that as well. So... I encourage you to take advantage of that because, like I said, as of October 1st, the prices of the food are going to go up and the sale will be over. So uh, that's going through the end of the month. So um, if you would like to take advantage of that, please do so. Again, to my website, PrepperNurse1.com, you'll click on Store. It will drop down. It will say Legacy Foods. You click on that. It will take you to the store within the website. So that is what is going on with that. Um, what was I going to tell you guys? Oh, I'm trying to think here. <laughs> it's been a very long day. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon now. And uh, we've been going pretty steady at it all day. And it's about 82 degrees, which is not too bad. But when you're standing out there in it all day, it uh, definitely makes a difference. Uh, also on my website, we have the Forefathers, which is the CBD and hemp store. Uh, so Dennis is going to clean this up a little bit more and make this a little more neat you know he said yeah i got to come up and finish that and i'm like yeah don't worry so, you know when you when you get a chance but it, we have the trail down in here now uh the cbd and hemp store if you see the logo on my website preppernurse1.com the forefathers logo you click on that it will take you to their website once you are at their website uh you can uh click on that uh, or well if you decide to make a purchase while you're there uh, when you check out, make sure you use the discount code PREPPERNURSE1 and you will save yourself 15% on your purchase. So, not a bad thing to do. Uh, definitely take advantage of that. So, we're going to be going down this way um, as well, but that's not happening today. Uh, today, is Dennis has been working on that with that other stone um, and been working on... Uh, he got that one area. He just took his last load of stone there. Um, my neighbors asked him if he would move a couple of rocks, so he was going up to do that for them. So, But uh, last thing on my website, we have the Prepper Nurse One community, which is a resource that we have set up for you guys to be able to connect with like-minded people. Uh, definitely take advantage of that as well. Uh, it is a resource that we set up for you. Uh, it is free to join, but you do have to register. Uh, no credit card information is asked with registering, but it is private, so uh, that's that's the way that you have to do it. So, um, anyway, so here, he was hitting bedrock. So I don't know if this is solid rock under here or not, um, but what I plan on doing is finding out. Uh, I want to go down first and then in. So if it is complete bedrock under there, that would be a very, very cool thing because I wouldn't have to really worry about shoring it up that much. I mean, I would still do it, but, uh, you know, that would be a cool thing to... I would still shore it up. <laughs> let, me, let me rephrase that. I don't want people to be like, oh, you better do it anyway. Yes, I would still shore it up. But if it is bedrock, um, I'm still going to go down probably five, six feet, and then I'm going to work my way in. Uh, we are well below you know, there, which is good, but I want to be way down and then into the hill. So we're going to see how that goes. But this is where uh, the root cellar is going to go. And so, you know, uh, people are like, well, you know, when it gets, you know, when you get older, it'd be tougher to walk down here. Well, that's why you have a four-wheeler. 
Uh, Four-wheelers are designed to take care of that situation, so not a bad thing. But uh, So that's where that's going to go there. And so he put a lot of that here up along the bank, which widens this out. Um, he can continue down um, this way here as well, and he does plan on doing so. So that's going to be, uh, you know, like I said, tomorrow, uh, I think if we're out of stone, uh, or maybe he's got a few buckets left to, to do, I should have showed you the stone, it was almost gone, uh, but uh, there's a few loads left, and so he can do that, but I think, again, like I had mentioned earlier, what I'm going to do, and even though this, this is a video that's going to go up Monday night, um, I'm going to keep the Bobcat an extra day on the Monday, because we're going to have... Uh, more stone coming in here on Monday. So with having the Bobcat here for the extra day, uh, it's going to make a big, big difference. We can get a lot of, and that's all that stone's going to go into the road, uh, every bit of it. So uh, we can do a lot of road work that way. So when I come back down here with the camper, uh, it's going to be much, much easier to get in. So that's the game plan. And so we'll hit all the low spots and get all those done. And uh, we'll go from there. But uh, so it's been quite an adventure. A very productive and positive day. Uh, definitely getting things done, which is good. And uh, so um, the couple that is here, another couple came earlier today, and uh, they are both from Virginia, right? So they get to talking, and they literally live 15 minutes apart from each other. Would have had no idea. Would never have known. Um, if they hadn't come here and, uh, you know, we got talking and, uh, all that type of stuff. So, uh, that was pretty cool. So it's, it's amazing, uh, what a small world it is and what happens when you, you know, do a little, you know, finding out who's where and what's going on and, you know, and I talked with both of them obviously separately and we talked about having them come up here and, and hanging out and helping, uh, for the weekend and, you know, getting to know each other and stuff like that, so, but definitely a good thing, definitely a good thing, so, but it just shows you what a small world it is, but, uh, I'm going to stand here in the shade for a minute, <laughs> so, but nice, good day, positive day, a lot of stuff getting done, which is good, and, uh, really pleased with all of that, and, uh, but we, tomorrow is another day. So there's going to be more work getting done tomorrow, and uh, like I said, that may consist of there is. Um, he showed me where the other spring was, so I'm going to definitely be checking that out and seeing what we have over there. And there is a road that comes down through there, and uh, so we're going to try to see if I can't uh, come around the other side, come around through the woods to get to the meadow here without having to come down that uh, steeper incline uh, when the winter gets here. So we're, like I said, I may not even be parking back in here. Uh, I won't park in this lower part. I would definitely stay up on an upper level if I have to and walk down in. So that's not a big deal. But uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, you know, just kind of go with the flow and see where we're at and see what we can get accomplished and, uh, and those type of things. But uh, it's been a very productive few days here. I'm really, really happy with everything and the progress that we're making. Uh, I consider our, we're right on schedule for everything that we wanted to get done. And we'll probably end up with more done than we had anticipated. Because uh, like I said, tomorrow I don't think we're going to have enough stone to really do a whole lot more stone work. But we can work on paths. And so Dennis can do that with the, uh, the, with the uh, you know... Uh, the bobcat and uh, work on that type of stuff so that'll be a good thing and then uh, you know we'll just kind of go from there so anyway so that's where we're at and uh, it's been like I said a very good and productive day so I'm really pleased and we're just going to keep doing what we're doing so anyway remember guys we are all in this together that is important to remember we are one race called the human race and as soon as people can figure that out we're going to be in much much better shape also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love Tell them every single day, tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life, so it's really important we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD, step, thing, and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to accomplish, whatever you're trying to do, 
you can do it. The only one that can stop you from reaching those goals is you. That's it. Nobody else can stop you. Stay positive. Stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. All right? All right, folks. I will jump off of here for now, and I will see you all. The next video will be, for me, it will be Sunday. For you, it will probably be Tuesday at 3. All right? I will talk to you later. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.